It was kind of hard to see Twisted Timbers from up there, though, and uh, it was kind of hard to tell whether or not the second train is headed, so we're going to walk over there now to, to check. Hopefully they put the second train on, because I'm not about to wait more than, like, 15 minutes for that. We've been so spoiled all week. <laughs> it's like crazy. Right on. Okay, we're about to get on the flyers here, and uh, my friend Kyle, he's going to sit this one out. He doesn't feel like going on this. Right. I don't want to do it again, that's pretty short. I will be with you shortly to unbuckle your seatbelt. That's fun though, right? <laughs> right on. <laughs> Alright, flying eagles. That was a lot of fun. Yeah, you got him to snap a little bit. I saw that. <laughs> I did get him to snap a little bit. <laughs> that's funny. You got one good one or maybe two, but uh, I don't know. I couldn't get it to snap at all. Uh, I really want to ride the ones at Knobles. I heard those are amazing. Same thing with the Carowinds. At Carowinds, I heard they're a lot of control. Wow, yeah, you went to Knobles too. Yeah. Oh, man, yeah. Next time you go, you definitely got to ride them there. Yeah. They're, like, they're like way faster. Yeah. Oh, man, yeah. But I definitely, that was a lot of fun. But we're going to be heading down to uh, Twisted Timbers right now. We're going to check to see if the second train's on and uh, what the wait time looks like. I might be down to ride uh, Racer 75 again, actually. That's kind of a fun uh, little racing coaster. Finally, it looks like the Windseeker doesn't have a line and it's open, so we're gonna go ride this right now. Pretty excited. I have not been on this one yet. I rode the one at uh, Cedar Point and at Kings Island. So this is gonna be my third Windseeker ride. <laughs> this whole half of the tower is like swinging side to side with the other half. So they do this really weird thing at Windseeker where they make people wait at the entrance to the queue and I understand why they're doing it so they don't let too many people in at once and then it would just be even worse like some people would be scrambling trying to find seats. So I understand why they're holding people but it's kind of annoying because we got here in the middle of a cycle and there wasn't any attendant around to, to put us with the group and there's tons of empty seats on the ride. Like there's just empty seats everywhere and they could have let us on but they just didn't. Uh, maybe they're short staffed or something. I don't know what the excuse is, but yeah, we're gonna get on this right now in a couple minutes. Hopefully, get some good views of King's Dominion from the air. Oh, been sitting on this thing for like I don't know five minutes now, right? At least.
how the lost room is open right now. Oh, this is ET music, dude. Yeah. The only thing that's sketchy about these rides is when it makes noises like that. <laughs> like, go there. You wanna head over there? Yeah. Alright, let's do it. Wow, is that music literally like the same exact length as the ride cycle? I don't know. Sounds like the song's ending like right where it started with the same type of like... Melody. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> Alright. I give that a 2 out of 10 because well, operations. <laughs> we just got off like the world's longest wind seeker cycle because the freaking operations were terrible. Like, absolutely the worst operations I've ever seen, period. Like, worse than Six Flags America. Like, there were four attendants on that, and literally, they checked all their strengths and stuff within the first two minutes, and then nothing for, like, three minutes. Like, just nothing. Like, they didn't do anything. It was so stupid. Like, they're just walking back and forth, not doing anything. It was so stupid. And Twisted Timbers is only running one train still, so we're just gonna wait for that. It shouldn't be that long though. We, we were able to see what the line looked like. It was only actually a, a station wait, so that's not that bad. We need Altora Ryan's friend Logan here to give us the one train ops, because it's kind of ridiculous. One train ops. It's just like so slow. Yeah, this thing falls when the train is full. Holy crap. Oh, also halfway down the barrel roll drop, I realized my right pocket was open. Really? Did there was anything in there? Uh, yeah, my AirPods, but they're still there. I hope that was all that was in there. I don't remember whether or not my wallet was in my pocket. I hope I put that in the locker. Do you remember if I put... All right, I hope so. And there's the uh, second train that's supposed to be on right now. There's... One train on. That's a lost call. All right, we just came off Twisted Timbers for the eighth time this whole trip. Like, what the hell? How did we get on that eight times so far this weekend? What? It's been dead. It's been that dead, yeah. And actually, for it only running one train, we only waited like maybe 15 minutes stops for that. That wasn't that bad, actually. It was not as bad as I was expecting it to be. You know, like, the station, it's got a pretty big switchback through the station, so it feels kind of long. But, yeah, we made it through there pretty quickly. So now we're going to head over to the other side of the park, and we're going to check on Avalanche and uh, Boo Blasters to see if maybe those are open now. Unfortunately, earlier when we went by them, they were unclosed. I don't actually know if either one of those have operated at all this season. Avalanche was closed yesterday, too, and we didn't even get to check on Boo Blasters. So for all I know, they might not have opened yet at all this season. <laughs> I don't know. All right, Kyle had to go to the bathroom, so I'm going to take a quick ride over here. Got Rebel Yellow over here with no weight at all. So let's go check out this Ace Roller Coaster Yeah, We are coaster enthusiasts to recognize Rebel Yellow as an Ace Roller Coaster Landmark. I think I'm gonna ride the south side. Well, oh, wait, actually, I just I already chose what's. Oh, only one side's open. What? Okay. 
I think we're on the north side because that's the only side that's open. <laughs> Rebel yell, and I got a little bit of room. Like it's gonna really matter anyway. <laughs> I'm not on this for the air time. <laughs> oh yeah. got off Rebel Yell on the north side. That was actually really good in the back. Wow, like I got a ton of air time on there. That was good. And uh, it was cool being able to get real up close to I-305 going up over the lift like that. It's awesome. It's a really fun ride. Right next to Rebel Yell, there's a hurricane simulator or what? I've never seen that before. Well, uh, where are we heading right now? Avalanche. Avalanche, yeah. We're gonna head over there, check to see if it's open. Hopefully it is. Drop zone over here has been closed all day. Didn't see it go once. It was open a little bit yesterday though volcano over there honestly i really hope avalanche stays open like oh man imagine avalanche is like plagued with the same problems like volcanoes had oh. <laughs> we're walking into what used to be the uh well sort of the entrance to volcano the blast coaster you can actually still see sort of where it said it on the sign it still sort of says it's blast coaster but yeah there it is oh it's open i think yeah. all right we're heading over to avalanche hopefully it's open i pray to god it's open I hope it's open because obviously I'm already missing out on Volcano. It's crazy, they're actually still playing music out here. Oh, hell yeah! Oh my god. Hell yeah, it's open. Oh, man. Ladies and gentlemen, that all clear means you are out of here. Sit up straight, put on tight, and enjoy your ride on the Avalanche. Yeah. Does it, always, does it always stop there? Please remain seated with your arms and legs inside the train. Your train will be abandoned shortly. What the hell? Look at Volcano though. They're removing sections of track. Wow. That was a fun bobsled. 
I didn't know the mid course stopped you all the way. Huh. Oh man, dude, this shed. shed. This is a cool shed. This is, this is probably my favorite shed. Yeah, this is way better than Mr. Timber's shed. Okay, we just came off Avalanche, the uh, Mock Rides bobsled coaster. It's actually a lot of fun. I love how close it gets to the volcano right here. That's so cool. We're gonna head up the exit ramp right here. It gets really close to volcano on the lift right there. That's so cool. Definitely a big fan of that. The only other bobsled coaster I rode is actually the one at Great Escape. Um, I actually don't remember the name of it right now off the top of my head. It operated at Great Adventure back in the 1980s. It was called Sarajevo Bobsled back then. But uh, then, actually, it's called Alpine Bobsled, I think, the one at Great Escape. So that's How the one. How do you pronounce it when it was at Great Adventure? I believe it's Sarajevo. I, I pronounced the J as a J, but like I definitely it, could see it being silent now that you say it as silent. Yeah, I think that's how it is. I don't know. You say it's Sarajevo? Sar yeah, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I think, a few times I've I think it's Sarajevo. It. I don't know. Somebody, yeah, whatever. Where are we headed to now? I don't know, actually. You want to head over? <laughs> are you feeling better? You think you could ride I-305 right yeah, now? I mean, I could ride it. All right, yeah, let's... Uh... I threw some water on my face when I went to the bathroom. <laughs> All right. Uh, if you're down, I mean, I don't want to ruin your day by riding that right now. If no, that's, yeah. You know what I mean? It's not going to ruin anything. <laughs> All right, so... better. <laughs> forward. All right, cool. So we're going to head over to I-305 then now. <laughs> just walking past this thing so many times is such a constant reminder about how I'm just going to miss that credit. Never going to be able to ride that. Ever. Gone forever. Never... Never to be ridden by anybody again. Uh, all right, I three hundred five time. I think I've come to the conclusion this is probably my second favorite ride in the park. Really? Yeah, only because it's just not as re-rideable as well, yeah, Twisted Timbers. And twi Twisted Timbers, I think, is more consistent like with the airtime and stuff too. I don't know, like you know, there's not really as much airtime in um, I three hundred five. It's not really what it's for. It's, it's not an airtime based coaster. It's more about the positive forces and you're getting pushed into your seat and graying out and stuff. And I, as much as I love that feeling, I like airtime more. <laughs> That's what it comes down to. Yeah, basically. So, yeah, like, uh, you know, my friend Kyle here, he loves I-305 here. He's his number one. And I can understand why. It's a great coaster. All right, we're about to get on. I'm not sure what row we're gonna do, but let's do it. Right, we just got off I-305 for what I think was the eighth time. I think it was either the seventh or eighth. I don't know. Every, time, every time I get off of it, I'm a little. My mind is a little messed up, so I'm not sure exactly what's going on. Because you know, you're out for a good little bit of that ride. Anyway, uh, my camera glasses actually ran out of space in the middle of that, so I'm sorry that there's not going to be any more POVs for the trip. But we got a ton of footage. Hopefully, you guys enjoy. I mean, there's a lot. Dominion Gold Pass. 
enjoy unlimited visits to King's Dominion and Soak City. But the fun doesn't stop when summer ends. Enjoy more seasons of fun. Yeah, I really like I-305, but it's way too intense to, like, re-ride it more than twice or three times in a row for me. Like, I don't know, man. Like, some people, like, might be able to handle it. I know, Kyle, yeah, you can ride it probably more than three times. I just, I don't feel right after I ride it twice. I just, like, I don't feel like I can, like, keep going. I, I know my limits on rides, and I know that this thing is really intense. <laughs> so if you're here at King's Dominion, you know, watch it when you're riding this thing. Be sure to know your limits. If you feel like you're going to pass out or throw up, you know, don't ride it. <laughs> now we're gonna grab our stuff out the locker and we're gonna head back over to the other side of the park over by Twisted Timbers and Grizzly and uh, we'll check out that stuff over there and see what's going on. Oh, we gotta check on Boo Blasters. Yeah. Let's do that right now, actually, instead. <laughs> I love how they have a little Woodstock house here you can take pictures in front of. It. <laughs> so cute. And then, of course, on the other side, you have the entrance into Planet Snoopy. And then, got this uh, Peanuts Road Rally uh, antique car ride. Over here we got Blue Blasters on Blue Hill. Hopefully it's open. Ah, uh, please be open. Oh nope. man, god damn it. There's a big chain in front of me. Uh, yeah, at least I'm not missing a credit. Avalanche is open. But damn it, I wish Blue, Blue Blasters was open. Own, like, <laughs> attractions where Kings Island is just in that, that building. Yeah, got the big chain crossing the whole thing. Yeah, boo-hoo. There's people walking up. <laughs> Get it, boo -hoo. Look, there's people like walking up the exit ramp over there. You see those people? Yeah, they're work there though. Oh, those are employees, duh. <laughs> oh man. Alright. Yeah, I'm a little bit disappointed Boo Blasters is closed. I was actually kind of looking forward to see Clint Novak in there. I think he's in this one. I don't know for sure, but you can let me know down in the comments. I know some of you guys definitely know. It's kind of what the uh, kids' antique car ride uh, layout looks like. It's actually interesting. They have two, an two of these antique car rides here. They have one over here in Planet Snoopy, and then the other one is on the other side over by Grizzly. If I had more time here, I'd definitely ride the uh, the one over by Grizzly. All right, we're passing by the former location of Shockwave, the Togo stand-up coaster that I never got to see. <laughs> I've never even seen the thing standing. Uh, unlike Volcano, which is still here. Of course, over here we have this nice little carousel uh, built by the Philadelphia Toboggan Company, as, of course, is what it says right there. Well, I really love these old-school carousels. They look really cool. Of course, they have the hand-carved hand horses and everything. It's really cool overall. Just up the hill is the Country Kitchen Fried Chicken and Barbecue, which looks really good. Actually, I'm not even sure how this place is. If any of you guys have ever eaten here, definitely let me know down in the comments. It looks like there's a little seating area upstairs up on that balcony right there. So that's super cool. Let me know if you guys have any information on this place, because it looks awesome. If you hop inside the Grizzly General store, you can get a gold mining kit that'll let you come out here and you can pay for gold. Just like an old miner from the, from the west. <laughs> Head on in. Grizzly Gulch, population 12. <laughs> Nine prospectors, two hound dogs, and one grizzly bear. I'm thinking this used to be the entrance to Dinosaurs Alive, but I'm, I'm not really sure. Anyway, we're gonna head over here to Grizzly. This is probably my favorite wooden coaster in the park, right? Like, this place, this thing's good. I like it better than Racer, or, well, I don't call it Racer. I don't know, I'm calling it Racer. God damn it. <laughs> Rebel yell. <laughs> Do you like getting the shit beat out of you on a roller coaster? You would love Grizzly. <laughs> no, really, it, it beats the crap out of you, but it's so much fun. I love it. That's like. 
time riding that. We've ridden this a lot. Like, this is probably, like, the... Third most yeah, the third most ridden coaster that we've done this trip. Like, uh, I think uh, Twisted Timbers probably has the most rides, right? Yeah. Yeah, we've ridden Twisted Timbers the most, and then I-305 the second most. Only by, like, one, but... Like, I think we've ridden, what, Twisted Timbers nine times and I-305 eight? Or something like that. And then this we've ridden, like, six times, and that's, like... A lot for a, a pretty rough wooden coaster that like we both enjoy a lot. <laughs> this is my Virginia house actually. I don't know if I showed you this yet, but I actually have my own house here in Kings Dominion. So you can chill over here. There's my dog. His name is uh, Chance, named after the rides manufacturer. And of course, I got this cool like, fireplace, yeah, rocking chair, and all that. And you can see out there that's my gun. It's called the uh, Kentucky. <laughs> and uh, right over here, that's my dad actually. Old Jim Bob, and that's my uh, my dad's wife. The shirt over there says Virginia's for ghost lovers. And uh, this is my refrigerator from the 1920s. <laughs> like, they seriously went above and beyond with theming in these shops. It's freaking cool. Not bad. Only one, it's only running one train, and that's not even bad at all. Of course, they're still having problems with the blue train. So the operator was just yelling at somebody to get off the handrails, but like we're, we're having this debate right now. We don't know uh, what counts as sitting on the handrail. Like if you're just like leaning against it with your feet on the ground, like if you're like that, I think that's okay. This is not sitting on the handrails. No, that's not sitting on the handrails. I don't think like having your foot up there is sitting on the handrails either. No, this like is that, not sitting no, on the handrails. That's definitely like not. This. Yeah, if you're fully, if you're if, sitting on the handrail. If your butt is fully on the, on the handrail with no feet touching the ground, I think that's on the handrails. Yeah. <laughs> We just got off Twisted Timbers for the ninth time this trip. Oh my god. That was really good for a middle row ride. Like, my knees are killing me though. Like, the inside of my thighs are just burning. I really enjoyed that. Movie. And, like, my legs are hurting from the knee restraints. Like, oh my god. <laughs> That's when you know you like, like, really like a coaster. When you ride it so many times, you're sore from the restraints. <laughs> so, of course, you know we're gonna go around again. <laughs> for the last time of the trip. So much fun. All right, two, in, two middle row rides in a row on Twisted Timbers. That was so much fun. I enjoy that ride a lot. I think it's even better than Wicked Cyclone in my opinion. I don't know, a lot of people might disagree with me on that, but I think it's better than Wicked Cyclone. I loved it. So we get 
to get our last look at everything in the park for now, and then we're gonna call it a day. I seriously wonder how many people rode this today. <laughs> it was like 45 degrees this morning, and now it's only like 50 something. So far, every time we've walked past this candy shop, it's either smelled like cinnamon buns because there's a Cinnabon next door, or candy. And right now, we just caught a whiff of Burger King. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> I mean, there's a Burger King not too far away, but what the hell? <laughs> well, we're getting our last views of the trip for all of Kings Dominion. All right, we're just gonna pass by the sign one last time. And oh my God, look at how many people are over here. There must be like a school group meeting up here right now or something, I don't know. All right, that's gonna do it for our trip to King's Dominion, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed. I definitely had an amazing time. There's so many great roller coasters here. Twisted Timbers, I-305, I, I loved Grizzly. No, that's probably a pretty unpopular opinion, but that's one of my favorite wooden coasters now. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. And if you did, don't forget to leave a like or a comment. They help me out a lot. And if you didn't, you can dislike it too. That's okay. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Have a great day. Peace out.